Jared Kano learned how long he'll stay behind bars. Kano is the teenager who pleaded no contest on charges that he planned a massacre at Freedom High School last year. He's been in jail since his arrest about 18 or 15 months now. New at 5, our Ashley Glass is live outside the Hillsborough County Courthouse to tell us what happened during the sentencing hearing that forced bailiffs to escort people out. Ashley? Good evening, Jameson. Jared Kano's family erupted inside the courthouse today, so much that a bailiff had to escort some members of his family out of the courtroom. They were emotional, they were yelling, they were crying as the judge handed down 15 years in prison for Jared Kano, the teen accused of plotting to blow up Freedom High School. Watch the very moments as that sentence came down. <laughs> Jared Kano's family, who stood up in court today begging the judge for leniency, learning she was anything but on the teen who pleaded no contest to charges he plotted a massacre at his high school last year. He used to be sentenced on count one to the period of Florida State Prison for 15 years to be followed by. 10 years of probation. Kano, his face fiery, jerking his body upon learning he will spend the next 15 years in state prison, making him 33 years old when he's due to get out, and despite his own plea to the judge. Don't make me the poster child for something evil. Let me be the poster child for something good. Let me do right. The judge called it one of the toughest decisions she's ever had to make, and in the end said it came down to this in making her decision. Take that to give you some more perspective on how this could have played out, the defense asked for credit for time already served by Jared Kano and some sort of treatment and probation program. The state asked for 25 years in prison. You heard it there, though, in the end. The judge handed down 15 years in prison. Kano's attorney tells me they will not appeal the sentence, but they will appeal a previous motion in which they'd ask the judge to dismiss the charges altogether. That is the latest from outside the Hillsborough County Courthouse. Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.